Some Haitian food I've seen, I'm like, with it, with it, with it. Haitian food, where? Empowering. and Sassy Dizium Chanel and Josia. We are going to be eating Haitian food in my city. Now, one of my first videos on this channel was eating the worst rated Haitian food in my city, which was Elizabeth. Now, I have moved to Newark and I've been a resident for about two years now, so I think I'm considered a Newark resident in a sense, even though Elizabeth is my home and will always be my home, okay? Where you from? East, where, where you from? One day I walked to the liquor store to get to know my new neighborhood and I stumbled upon a Haitian restaurant and I'm just sitting there like I've never in my life came across a Haitian restaurant in Newark okay ever um, even though I've lived in Elizabeth all my life I have spent a great amount of time in Newark and I've never really heard of a Haitian restaurant there. I've heard of it in Irvington, borderline Newark, East Orange, borderline Irvington, even Maplewood, Roselle, Linden, but I've never really heard of a direct Haitian restaurant in Newark. So I was like, you know what? I have to try this food. Try to Google them. They're nowhere on Google. So I took my happy ass all the way to this restaurant to see what was up with the food. Let me just say that I have no patience and as soon as I walked in there, I was sitting there like for a good 10-15 minutes I gave Ki Ki Wen. This lady came out, she looked at me and she walked right back to the back and I'm just like, okay, it's about to be one of those days. But shit ended up picking up with the owner being ridiculously hilarious and you know, killing me with banter, calling me blunt, etc. You know, the regular Haitian banter, okay? If you guys are not aware, when it comes to like Haitian people who were born in America or those who came to America really young, they will always refer to you as blunt. Um, like as soon as they hear that your Creole is not like 100% like native Creole or that you have a little bit of an accent, automatically they're gonna call you a blunt. So this dude proceeded to, um, make fun of me the entire time and you know he knew that i never had the food or whatever so he let me taste a lot of the food what's interesting is i hate legging but their legging was actually really good so i got a kind of a combination of different things kind of different from last time so the free thought that i was able to get because it's the only thing they had because you know how haitian restaurants are set up especially on a sunday this is probably the worst time that i could have went to go get haitian food they don't ever have shit. This goes with Caribbean restaurants as a whole. They have a full-blown menu and probably only like 20% of it is actually available at a day, at a given time. Haitian food tastes different depending on A, who cooks it and where they're from in Haiti, obviously the person who cooks it, and C, the audience that they're cooking for. Um, like some Haitians will use basmati rice while some Haitians use jasmine rice and some other Haitians use madame goose goose rice Which is just like regular white rice also like the worst rice ever like in terms of health So I think this would be interesting comment down below Where are you from if you're Haitian and they have Haitian food in your city? Do you like the food? Why or why not? Or do you just not have Haitian food in your city at all? Yikes, I hope your parents do it and your family cooks Haitian food because you're missing out. Because this is a great alternative when I don't feel like cooking or when my parents don't feel like cooking. Yes, I do cook Haitian food. Is it a shock? I guess, because people are always so shocked when I say I cook. We have the free thigh. I had this in the store. What's funny is um, he just made me taste it and he said it was supposed to be for him and I definitely stole it. This is fried patat, which is, I have no idea what the fuck patat is in English. Sweet potato? It's not sweet potato. Someone comment down below, Haitians help me out. What is pot in English? And then it is fried turkey. Turkey is my favorite meat of all time. Mom has never fried it for me. I always just had it in sauce. So this is the pot and the fried turkey. This was super good. I really loved it. I've never had fried pot and I've never had fried like turkey. I asked the dude and he said he's from Port-au-Prince. I was like, y'all be doing this in Port-au-Prince? This is bougie. I should warm this up, but. I have all the shit to taste, as you can see. I love pot dot. Hands down, one of my favorite things ever. I don't really eat Haitian food as much as I used to, especially since I lost like hella weight doing keto twice. I don't like to keep it in my house, so most likely I'm gonna give this food to my parents. This I'm keeping though. Fuck out of here. When he showed me this, I was like, this should look a little dry. Listen, I had a field day with that man, and I'm gonna go back just because of his personality. He was very cool. I thought it should look dry. 
But I ain't gonna lie, this shit tastes good as hell. So I was like, okay. Hopefully, your food tastes better than your banter. I don't like people calling me a blunt. I ain't see him yet. I mean, I don't take offense to it, honestly. So as you guys can see, lots of grass on the shasha. Lots of grass. No, I don't drink soda. This is Mountain Dew, and I only have this because I had to get together with my friends and niggas just bought way too much drinks. I genuinely do not like soda. I feel like the grass is coming from the legume store. I'm just... Whoa! I'm fat nettoy et So unlike most Haitian restaurants, they were very considerate and they packed everything separate. Never seen that before. Never. Comment down below if your local restaurant does that. They don't ever do that for us. Um, they just throw the sauce, the legume, or whatever, in the plateau of food. I don't know what the fuck this is. So this is sauce, regular Haitian sauce, I'm sure. I hope. And he gave me two. This is the legume. That's a lot of legume. I said side. Yo, this is what, honestly, this is lit because some Haitians be skimpy with the food. So, here's the legume. Y'all can look. This is... I have no idea what this is. <laughs> what is this? Bouillon, maybe? I think this is supposed to be green sauce. If y'all know anything about sauce, it's not supposed to run like water. <laughs> It's not the right consistency. Wow. I haven't had green sauce bar in a long time. I didn't say anything about green sauce bar. Maybe they gave this to me by accident. I should get me a plate. I feel like we could do a lot of food combinations here. I didn't ask for no sauce bar, so we could do sauce bar legging. We could just do sauce bar with the diri. We could do a lot of things in this piece, you feel me? So I think I'm going to go grab us a plate. So this says grill. So I would assume the rice and the grill are here. For those who are not aware, grill is fried pork. So. Oh, it's so pretty. Wait. Y'all, I asked for Diri Kole grill. Luckily, this is nice. They gave me potato salad and this looks like lasagna. This is supposed to be lasagna. I hope there's more under this goddamn rice. This is little as fuck. But you guys can look at the food. This is a really nice presentation, but this is not no goddamn Diri Kole. What? Diri Kole where? Why would Diri Kole not no women? Stop at Diri Kole! This is not Diri Kole. I know I'm not going crazy. I've been eating Diri Kole my entire life. It's my favorite rice. This is just Diri Avec Poivet. I'm lost as fuck. Where the hell is my Diri Kole? I'm confused. I'm real life confused. Can someone explain to me? No, I need to ask. Now that that annoyance is over. So I got chicken, grill, potato salad, I guess. That wasn't part of it, but hey, makes the video process funner. Lasagna. I guess they just liked me because I was literally like talking up a storm with these people. I don't know. They gave me extra shit. Most of the time when I order food from Haitian restaurants around here, they give me extra shit. You see, no, I bet your problem extra love. And I'm from there. But anyways, they probably just don't like me. Anyhow, okay. Is that macaroni and cheese that they claim they didn't fucking have? That looks like lasagna, but that looks like macaroni or gratin, but we're not gonna know until we taste it. Anyhow, so we got white rice, chicken, and potato salad. All right, so this is gonna be interesting. We are going to do this the easy way. I don't know what the easy way is, and I haven't decided, so don't ask. <laughs> I think that they thought that this food was for different people. I should have just ordered everything as sides. Cause I cannot eat all this food. So I'm gonna eat this fake ass Diri Kole first cause I'm very annoyed about this. I'm talking all that shit. This is good. Saboe. This is good ass life. It looks like basmati or jasmine. It doesn't taste like basmati, but it looks like basmati. Cleanse the palate. White rice. They, they good with the rice bro. All right. Bottle of the viand. We gotta get the grill, gotta have all the fat. One chicken leg, I think that's the only meat we got. Um, I had the turkey already, I had saw me eat that. So let's just taste the grill. Look at that fat, it's my favorite part. Comment down below what's your favorite part of the grill. The meat meat or the fat? The texture of this grill is immaculate. It doesn't get stuck to your teeth. 
It's not full of grass, which is shocking. And it has a very subtle flavor. It's not full of sel. It's not full of grass. It's just, just right. Which means I said it's not full of salt. It's not full of oil. If you're a rock one. Let's taste the chicken. Because you can't fuck up chicken. I feel like everybody, when they first learn how to cook, you learn how to cook chicken. In the Haitian culture, anyhow. Mm. It's overcooked. Okay, if you guys are not familiar with how Haitians cook their chicken, usually we boil it and then we cook it. So whether it's being fried, whether it's being put in the oven, whether it's just being made like to make sauce like this is, it's always boiled ahead of time. The thing is, sometimes people overboil it, then overcook it. You have to kind of give an even or find a middle ground of half and half of each. This is really overcooked. It's not bad though. I don't care for it. This whole plate I'm gonna go to my parents. This I'll keep. This dairy tastes good, this real tastes good. I even taste the lasagna or potato salad yet, but this is good to my parents. But this is good. Like, you know, if you a man, if I get my dumb key cafe manger pool, you know, you a man that ain't got no wife that could cook for you or whatever. This is actually pretty good. But for someone who has an experienced tongue, <laughs> who's eating Haitian food forever, this is very like, there's nothing special about it. This Dury Blanc is not good. I've never had Dury Blanc taste this good since I was like a kid. And my parents don't cook with this rice anymore. This is like the regular white rice. Very bad for you, like very bad for you. But I always loved it. Like as a kid, this is all I ate. Like I could literally eat this shit by itself. We're gonna have some of the white rice with the legume. Of course. Then we're going to have the sides after. Let's make your tea. Let's see. Wait, does that mean? Wait. You know, I just feel like sometimes we got to take a break from the heavy content, like the historical and the voodoo stuff, you know? This is a little bit more fun. I can talk my shit. Get to see what they got to offer out here in these streets that they call in Haitian food. Because some Haitian food I've seen, I'm like, <laughs> with it, with it. With it. Haitian food, way. I'm still eating the grill. I'm sorry, y'all. This grill is wrong. Let me put it back on my plate. What's interesting is there is actually some sauce here. But we're probably gonna, damn, I'm probably gonna have a lot of the rice because I have to try the sauce on the rice. I have to try the legume with the rice. I have to try the sauce bar with the rice. So they gave me a lot of legume. But did they give me meat in the legume? Why do I have talk shit? There's meat in here. So we're gonna take some meat, just a little bit because that's literally a little bit. Okay, so this is a legume militon. Someone please translate what the fuck militon is in English. I have no idea. I only know certain vegetables and fruits in Creole, which is wild because I was born in America. You would think I know better, but I don't. Um, okay, so I don't like pima. Yes, I do not like spicy food, which is funny because I'm Haitian, right? Um, it does have a kick to it, but it's not horrible enough that I can't eat it. It is good. Not the best, but... It's good, again, for niggas that ain't got no wives, ain't got no family to cook Haitian food for them. Or if you're American, you just want to try it, it's good. Now, these people said they were from Port-au-Prince. All Haitians claim they're from the capital. I need to ask where the cook is from. This ain't no Lati Bonit shit. This ain't, it can't be. But you know what? I'll be able to tell from the potato salad and the macaroni, but we still have to taste the sauce and the sauce itself. So let me have one more spoon of this shit. Oh, there's some celery in here, okay. Mmm. I really don't care for legume. I just started forcing myself to eat legume because on keto, that was like probably the only Haitian type food I could have. And I still don't know if it's okay to have, to be honest. I just put it in my mind that it was okay to have so I could have some type of Haitian food on my fucking diet. There's different types of legume. And then you have lalo. You have bilgen. Next, we got the soswa. With the Diri Blanc. Woo, child. This runny ass shit. Oh, man. They should have gave me a spoon for this fucking soup that they gave me a sauce bar. Not bad. But there's no flavor. You won't get sad. Why is there no salt in this shit? The thing is, I understand a lot of Haitian restaurants, especially nowadays, kind of watch their salt and stuff like that, but they ain't watch the salt with nothing else. I don't know why that shit tastes like that. I'm thinking maybe I just didn't put enough. I don't know what's going on here. Very lackluster. I don't even know why they gave that to me. I didn't order that. There was this Haitian restaurant in Elizabeth. I believe it was called Obongu. Comment down below. Haitians from Elizabeth. 
had the best Haitian food. But they shut down for whatever reason. This time we're gonna have a tiny bit of it and we're gonna have a little bit of the sauce. I don't understand why this sauce is so saucy. Now, this is what I say when I say Haitian food ain't good for you. Look at all the oil that's at the top of this. This should taste so good though. I love me some Haitian sauce. I didn't even taste this yet and I know it's gonna taste good because it's Haitian sauce. Like you can't fuck up on Haitian sauce. It's literally oil, tomato paste, some chicken stock, and some seasoning. Like, and sometimes some ipis depending on the person. Like, ipis is like a seasoning blend that all Haitians use in their food. That's some good sauce. I would assume both these sauces are the same. I'm gonna check in a little bit. Mmm, that's some good sauce. Again, it has a nice little kick, but it's not overwhelming. So someone, Kiki Bebe, so for someone who likes a spice, almond Kiki Bebe Pima would like it, but someone who doesn't like Pima like me, they'll be fine. This is good, I like it. I like it a lot. The thing is with Haitian food, you really have to have your portions because woo chow, people be having a whole big ass plate. Like this is a small plate. They be having double sides of this plate, hella rice on it. Now we gotta go to the lasagna and the potato salad. I would assume both these potato. I would assume both these potato salads are the same. So I'm gonna have this lasagna because it has a nice little crisp to it. I like my shit looking a little crispy. I'm gonna have this potato salad. I'm such a fucking team one. I got all this type of mess on me, bro. But potato salad rocking. I got rice on the ground. I don't know how I managed to do all of that. I'm not sure if they have red potato salad in other cultures, but in the Haitian culture, it's literally beets, potatoes, onions sometimes, and whatever else. That's what makes it this color. It tastes good. I like it. Probably one of my favorite things here, next to the grill. Now, I thought this was macaroni au gratin, to be honest with you, because it looked like macaroni. It don't look like lasagna. Pirate. This supposed to be lasagna to y'all. There's no sauce on. <laughs> There's no sauce on this lasagna, at all. You know what's funny? My mom used to do this shit too. She would make lasagna and not put sauce in it. It's like that's not fucking lasagna. That's like fucking mac and cheese with some beef in it. I'm happy it's only like a tiny bit, cause I don't care for it. They both taste the same. Let me see if this potato salad tastes the same. Yeah. Well, that, that lasagna is a head scratcher. I don't really like it. Comment down below, do the Haitian people you know in the Haitian restaurants make lasagna with no sauce? I don't understand this phenomenon. But my mom used to do it too, so now that I see these people doing it, very interesting. Now, like I said, these people come from the capital, as they claim. My mom grew up in the capital, but she wasn't born in the capital. So she makes hers the same way. So it might be, I don't know, it might be that. Definitely giving this to my parents. Don't care for it. So overall, did not care for the sauce bois. Didn't care for the lasagna. And everything else was virtually a good solid 9.5. I'm not even gonna lie. And I can't give it a full 10. Only because like it wasn't spectacular. It wasn't blowing me away. It wasn't like anything that was like extraordinary. Like, oh my God, like you have to try this food. Like it wasn't like special but it's good and i would definitely go back i would definitely buy this food again now what's funny is the last time i did this video i found hair in my food at the other spot what's funny is i was in the area again and i bought the food again and i found hair in it again so <laughs> luckily wow i got my whole self dirty why did, why am i like this i'm such a team one luckily though um there's no hair in these foods um the chicken was subpar the grill was very good the potato salad is very good Again, like I said, the lasagna, not that great. This is not Diri Kole, but I assume this is what they they call Diri Kole. Like, this is their version of Diri Kole, Makonen, Makopoen. Maybe I'm just from another part, from another time. I've never in my life seen this being considered Diri Kole. Like, I, I don't understand what this is. <laughs> but it does fucking taste good. So, I mean, I can't complain too much, but I was looking forward to brown rice and red beans. That's what Diri Kole is, brown rice and red beans. But... Yeah, I'll actually eat this. This I'll eat. Free time. I'll definitely eat. The sauce, on the other hand, I might eat, 
because I don't like me eating no dry rice with some dry grill. Like when I have my shit put together, it has to have it. It did its job. I am virtually full, even though I like to do taste tests, but I'm the type of person, I don't really eat a lot. Like I just need it on TV cool and I'm good. The kick of spice could really turn someone off, but I mean, Haitian food, Caribbean food, it's kind of supposed to be spicy. So it's like, you kind of know what you're getting yourself into. But personally, I just don't like Pimo. My dad don't like Pimo either. So for someone who doesn't like Pimo, this probably will turn you off, but it, it was good food. Definitely we go back. Um, comment down below again, okay, or if you haven't commented, what is your favorite Haitian food and why? And what is something that you wish all Haitian restaurants sold? Something that I really don't eat often that I actually really like is mayonnaise. Mayonnaise is like a fried dough that Haitians make. It's usually part of the Fritai clan, you know, the fried food clan of Haiti. And I fucking love it, but you like almost never see it being sold. Um, another thing I really wish all Haitian restaurants sold was Haitian cake or cremas cake. Um, I absolutely love it and I used to eat it all the time as a child. However, the only place that sells it is a place in Elizabeth where I think they're fucking rude as shit and I refuse to give them my money. So, there's that. Um, pate quid is another thing I wish all Haitian restaurants sold because it just tastes so fucking good. No matter where the fuck you get it from. So yeah, make sure you guys like, share, subscribe. Tell me what you thought about this video. Would you go try Haitian food in another city, your city, or anywhere else in the world? Why or why not? Make sure you guys like, share, subscribe, do all that. And I'm going to see y'all next time.